Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to today's tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to create a hunger and thirst system using sprites, um, well, text draw sprites. So basically, um, I'm going to teach you how to, um, to basically create them, um, you know, um, update them and also uh, save them as well. So it's going to be saved in a SQLite database. So the first thing we're going to do, um, well, before we create the database, what we're going to do is we're going to create the, um, the enumerator to store the data in. So basically, what, what what we'll do is we'll create a, um, a stats data. You can name this whatever you want, but basically you need a hunger level, a thirst level, and we need to, um, you know, play a text for the text draw. So this is going to be the hunger text draw and the thirst text draw. So basically, um, get that going, and then basically the first thing we'll do is we'll create um, the database data. So it's going to be a SQLite database. So like if you follow along, like I've already tested it, so it works. Um, so basically we need to provide the database location. This is going to be a script files location. So it's going to be stats DB. And then we just need to create um, a few uh, DB variables, uh, one to, uh, for the server database and one for the result. So basically now we've done that, uh, what we need to do is we need to open and close the database. So I'll just grab those just so it's quick. I'll just quickly put these here. So basically, uh, we need to open the database initially and always remember to close the database. So whenever you open the database, just close it straight away under on game mode exit. And then what we need to do is we need to create a table if it doesn't exist. So this automatically creates um, the database. If the database doesn't exist, it will create a database. And then it will create this table um, if it doesn't exist, obviously, to for, so we can store the data. So what, what, what we're going to do is we're going to use the player's name um, and then hunger and thirst. So um, now we've done that, what we need to do is we need to load and insert the data upon connect. Um, actually, before we do this, uh, before, I, um, before I, I, I forget, what we need to do is we need to reset this data. So um, we'll do it under on play connect. So on play connect, we'll set, um, what is it? It's hung hunger level, hunger level. So we'll set the hunger level to 100. And then thirst, we'll set that also to 100. So now um, what, what we've got to do is we've got to reset it there. And we also got to reset it under on player def. So, um, you know, when they connect, um, it, it resets it to whatever it was. So it's not um, it's not the same as whatever it was when the player disconnected. And then also under on, on player connect, uh, you, you want to reset the, you know, for their new spawn, for their new life. The, uh, ne you need to reset it. So we'll do that there. So now we've done that. Uh, now we can jump back to here. We can grab this and then basically um, under on play connect this is where we um, insert the data and load the data so basically um, I I'm doing it this way so it, it will work for the tutorial so basically you need to be um, loading the data when the player logs into their account and inserting the data when the player registers so th th this will just work for basically um you know every player name that connects it will it will save their hunger and thirst so this is just so it will work for the tutorial but remember to put this where, where when they load their when they log into their account um this is when you load their data and then you insert the data when they register sort of thing um, and um, all right, so now we've done that. So now we've uh, we're opening the database, we're closing the database, we're um, loading the player's data and inserting the data. Now under on player disconnect, we need to save the data. So what we'll do is we'll go like that. So savings just uh, pretty much a simple update. So now we're um, now we're saving the data. So now that's pretty much loading and and loading inserting and uh, uh, like and uh, updating um the the, the stats data that we created for this enum here. So now that's loading and saving hunger and thirst. What we need to do now is uh, I'm going to give you this uh, this link in the description. So basically, go to the link in the description, and it, it's got a it's got a, a series of uh, functions that I, I need you to use. So basically, um, copy and paste that, and then just go to the top of the script. And just go here and put them all here. So basically, this function is going to slowly change the sprites. I'll show you on screen now what it looks like. Um, they're pretty much sprites on the bottom of the bottom of the screen. Um, they, they change from red to green. So uh, well, green to red sort of thing. They they sort of uh, they sort of start at green here, and then and then it goes down to red sort of thing. So. Um, 
that, that that's that function there so shout out to uh threshold for that because uh, he sort of created the this sprite system for me and i uh, created this function but basically the other function is creating the textures so th this is actually the coordinates for each um, icon so if you wanted to change the icon what you do is you change these ones and if you wanted to change the the, the position um, i don't know why you would want it because i sort of centered uh you know centered two icons you know off side of the center of the screen at the very bottom sort of thing so if you did want to change the, the like the position of it you do it here and if you wanted to change the size you do it there i'm not i'm not sure what it's going to look like if you do change the sizes so uh you know change it at your own risk but anyway that that's creating the textures so what we need to do is we need to create the textures under on play connect so we'll put that there so now we're creating the textures. Now we need to uh, specify when to destroy the textures. You should be doing this when you're creating the textures. You should be destroying them when the player disconnects. So we'll go here and we'll put that there. So we're destroy we're creating it when they connect and we're destroying it when they disconnect. So now um, that's those two uh, functions. Now um, hide player textures is um we want to show them it, this is when we update it we show them we want to show them the textures when they spawn and we want to hide them when they when they die so practically we'll go here and we'll hide the textures when they die and and when they spawn we need to use these uh last functions here which is update hunger textural this is where you um you, you update that the, the actual textural this changes the color of the textural and it actually shows the the textural at the same time so practically now under on player spawn we um, update hunger and we can go here and update uh thirst and these are actually going to be uh the levels so hunger and then thirst all right so um now, now that's um now, now when they spawn it will actually so I'll, I'll go start from the process so when they connect it's going to set it to 100 and if if they haven't if they're not in the database already it's going to insert the data at 100 so it's going to insert the data at 100 for them and, and then they're going to spawn with 100 and then it's going to update and show the textual so but if they are connected it's going to set it to 100 just by default and then and then it's going to show the textuals and then it's going to like if they like say say it's a hunt like it gets set to 100 here but say their hunger hunger is only 50 it will then set hunger to 50 here for when for when they spawn and then update it properly here but we set it back to uh, 100 by resetting it here uh, when they die because when, when you when they respawn you want them to you know um, have have full health or you, you can sort of do a random amount sort of here or whatever but practically now, now we're creating the textures uh, destroying the textures showing them and hiding them correctly so now that's um now that's um you know uh, the, the hunger system um sh you know saving and loading and and showing uh, the textures and all that sort of stuff so now what we need to do is we need to uh you know create an update timer so practically now what we need to do here is we need to first we'll create a forward so we'll go to the top and uh we'll go here and we'll go forward on player stats update and then we'll we'll go like that because it's going to be we're going to be doing a loop there. So this is going to be our timer. So on player stats update, we need to go down to uh, to on game mode in it, and we need to put a um a, like a, a set timer. Here. So we'll go set timer, and then it it's going to be you know on player stats update, and we'll we'll just go um every twenty seconds. So every twenty seconds it, it will lower, and we'll go true for that because we want it to repeat. And now we'll go down here and we'll create this um, this callback. So we'll go uh, public on player stats update like that. And this is where we got to um, create a loop. So we'll go for. All right. So there's our loop. So what we want to do obviously is do some checks here. So is player connected? Uh, you, you can be using four each here, so whatever you're looping you'll do, so just use that. But for the tutorial, I'm just going to do this, and we don't want to loop through any um, NPCs as well. So we'll go like that. So only connected players and NPC players. Um, practically, we can go like this and go hunger, and this is where we... Um, this is the update. This is pretty much lowering uh, lowering the, their stats. So what, what we can do here is we can just go like this and then minus minus that whatever whatever that is there and then we've got to do some checks here like this so we can go if um 
their hunger is more or equal to uh, one and is their hunger is less or equal to five we can actually send them some alert messages saying that their health is low it's it's either five or or one so uh we can you know send client message um i'm just going to go minus one for the color that which is white and then um we can go like this and you know just send them a message all right so we can just send, send a message saying you're about to die of hunger eat something fast so um now it will actually that it's going to send them five messages so when, when it's five it will send them a message when it's four three two and one it will send them a message but then we can go an, an else state an else if statement here and then do the exact same check but we want to go if it's uh you know less or equal to zero um, we can go equal zero, but it's, it's like a safeguard is less or equal always, you know, and always do, uh, you know, safeguards like that, less or equal. Um, so basically now it's less or equal to zero that they, they've actually died of hunger. So this is where we, um, you know, set player health, uh, you know, zero. They've just died of hunger pretty much. You can send them a message saying you, you've just died of hunger, but what you want to do is you want to continue here because there's going to be two different ones here you don't want them to die of hunger and then die of thirst automatically straight away you want them to die of what like one or the other sort of thing so now we can practically do that exact same thing and go here but go thirst and just change all these to thirst to our uh, thirst level and we can change this to thirst you know and then say drink something fast so that's pretty much you know how how the 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 um the the stats update will work all right guys there's just one thing i missed uh we with the with the update what we need to do is we need to be updating um you know when it decreases so what we'll do is we'll when it decreases we'll just update it so we'll go um i here i there so now it's uh, lowering it and then updating it and then we're doing the check. So we'll go hunger there and thirst here. All right, so uh, now that should work properly and that's the fix guys. So what I'll do is I'll quickly save it and compile it and there you go. So now it's pretty much working. They spawn with their levels and then it will slowly decrease. And all, all you've got to do is, um, you know, however you... you, um, you um, you, up, you upgrade health or thirst uh, say you've got an item system you can pick up food or whatever all you've got to do is uh, set the stats a little bit high a little bit higher than what it is so you can um, sort of go like this and go um, you know set the stats to um, e equals whatever the stats is plus 25 sort of thing you know what i mean and you can slowly increase their their, their hunger level like that so um you know that's pretty much custom to your game mode however you do it but it's pretty much just adding uh, adding to to the level uh, just a little bit you can actually go like this a better way to do it is actually like this so you can go plus equals 25 so this means it will be uh you know whatever it is plus 25 so you can go like that and that, that's as simple as it is um for, for increasing um your hunger and thirst level so practically what i'll do is i'll um compile that we'll, i'll save it and then we'll compile it and there's a little oh there's a player id uh, yeah it doesn't know what player id is because um it needs to be i so i'll quickly do that all right, so what I'll do is I'll compile that, and bang, there you go, it compiles. So I've already tested this, and it works, guys. So, uh, yeah, that's the end of the tutorial. That's a hunger and thirst system. So uh, let me know if there's any other tutorials you'd like me to do in the comments, and I'll get around to doing them, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace!